what's up everybody what's up youtube it's your boy with sean baldwin white rb dubs and i'm back with another video yes i'm back i know i've been gone for a really long time but if, you, if any of you guys you know if you watch the channel if you're like an avid watcher then you know that i don't usually do videos over the summer because i'm usually working during the summer and i never have time to film videos especially where specifically I'm working and the environment I'm working in so I don't really have time to film videos but and I'm back and I'm excited to be doing videos with you guys bringing back the weekly videos to you guys and to start this off I think before I start getting back into all the you know social justice issues and things like that and there's especially been a lot of that happening over the summer um, I just want to do like a really laid-back video you know for the first time my first video being back and um, back into making regular videos and I just wanted to do something you know a little fun and a little interesting I wanted to tell you guys a story of something that happened to me over this past summer if I have to give one word to describe this past summer I would definitely say eventful and technically summer's not over yet uh, summer doesn't end till the end of September I completely didn't remember that that summer went that far that long but I was told that so technically we're still in the summer but in terms of like what I know as summer, uh, it's definitely over. A funny story that I have from this past summer. Well, like I said, I was working this summer, but I also, I did have a break from work. And during this break, I actually went to, so I'm from, if you don't know, I'm from Brooklyn. And I went to Coney Island, which is something I usually do every summer. And usually I go with my little brother, but I didn't go with my little brother this time. And I actually went with, uh, someone I worked with a friend from work and you know we we kicked it there and you know how they have the rides and stuff roller coasters and stuff like that you know and they have food and all that stuff if you've ever been to Coney Island or if you heard about Coney Island then you really know what Coney Island looks like it's like in a for those that don't know it's like an amusement park so you know if you know what amusement parks looks like that's basically what Coney Island is so you know they have the rides but then they also have, you know, the little games that you can play to like win prizes and stuff. And so we were walking through an area where it was basically filled with those. It was basically filled with a bunch of these, a uh, bunch of these games where you can like win prizes. Some of them just like pr small prizes, like stuffed animals and things like that. But then there was some that had bigger prizes you can win, like macbooks and headphones and iphones and things like that this particular one or that particular kind is one that i stopped at so i wasn't intending on stopping at it I, we were just walking by and this the guy who was working it you know he called out to me you know saying like oh i'll give you a free play you know you give you a free a free try and you know i was i was like sure whatever is free free 99 how can i turn that down so i did that and I went up to him, you know, I took, I tried it out and um, I was okay at it. You know, he was like teaching me how to do it specifically. So what this game was is that you had to throw a ball into a bucket. I know that sounds simple, but it actually is not as simple as you think. So there was a bunch of rules to it. Like, first of all, the bucket was facing you. So the open part of the bucket was facing you and you had to throw it underhand into the bucket. So you had to throw it underhand to the bucket. You had to keep your feet on a specific line which was a good distance away from the bucket and you had to throw the ball underhand and when the ball goes into the bucket it can't go in and then go out it has to stay in the bucket and then it also can't hit the rim the outer rim of the bucket either when it's going in so it has to go in straight straight flush into the bucket and it has to stay in there in order for it to count as a as a valid shot so i tried it out the first time uh, actually, the first time I did it, I was really terrible. I actually threw it over. I actually managed to underhand it over the bucket, which was pretty embarrassing. And, um, you know, then he started, like, teaching me how to do it and the technique with it and stuff like that. But if I had known that this guy was a scammer, I would not have went there in the first place. This guy was a scammer. Let me guys tell you that the scammers were out to play this summer. And I got caught up out in the streets on these scammers, man. And I lost money i lost a significant amount of money but i'm getting to that later so i'm doing it he's teaching me the technique then is when he starts he offers me a deal he says oh 
you get 10 shots. If you can make 10 shots, then you can win a big prize, meaning like, you know, a computer or an iPhone or something like that. So I'm like, wow, all I gotta do is make 10. Okay. It's like, what it's like, I believe it's like, what, 10? It starts off as five. It starts off as five bucks to play, but then it doubles. So then you start with five, then it goes to 10, 15, no, not five. So it goes to five, then 10. So five times two is 10, then it doubles to 20, then to 40, then to 80, and then so on and so forth for each time you go. So you have to pay double. starting off at five mind you I have to make 10 shots so I basically play the game until I get up to I have spent uh, I have spent so I'm at one hundred sixty dollars right now 160 I'm that you you're hearing it correctly I have basically invested one hundred sixty dollars into this game $160 and I have, I've made nine shots. I have to make one more shot. And if I make it, then I win any of the big prizes, a computer, iPhone, headphones, whatever I want. If I miss it, I basically lose all my money and I can't get any of it back if I miss this last shot. I'm with my friend, mind you, my friend's a girl. This is a girl and you know, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of her. She's sitting there watching me. And basically there's all this pressure and I'm here I am, I'm setting myself up, I set my arm up, you know, he let me do a few test shots, he let me do two test shots, I was like, okay, those were looking good, and, you know, I'm, I'm basically contemplating, like, wow, it took me a while to do the shot, I was like, wow, you know, I, if I missed this shot, I'm losing $160, so it was just a lot of pressure, it took me a long time to really, you know, get down to doing it. And then another rule he was telling me was like, if you take too long, if you think about it too hard, then you're definitely gonna miss. But I was definitely thinking about it really hard because I had already been taking money out of the ATM, paying the ATM to take the money out, and I'm fully investing this now. So here I go, I set up, put my feet on the line, set up my underarm, I mean my arm underhanded, holding the ball, I, I throw it, and I miss. No, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no. And you know, it went in the bucket and it came right out. Mind you, like I was saying earlier, it has to go straight in the bucket and stay, it went right out. And I, I was devastated, I couldn't believe it. It was just, it was just such, I wasn't expecting that to happen that day at all, it was just terrible. And you know, lost $160 to, to a game that I wasn't even planning on playing at all. Mind you, I started off at five. I started off at five dollars. You know, I was just walking by, enjoying my day. And if you had told me that morning that I'd be going to Coney Island and I'd be losing hundred and sixty dollars, I would have thought you were crazy. But it happened, and it was it was very one of the things that made my summer very eventful, and it was it was insane. I was devastated. It was it was crazy. But yeah, so. He was telling me like after I missed a shot, he pretended to be sad for me. He definitely wasn't, he definitely didn't care. He's getting paid, he's getting my money. I'm leaving with nothing. So he's definitely doesn't actually care about how I feel or what I'm going through. But he pretended to and he was like, oh, you know, I'll still be here if you wanna try to make the shot again. You just gotta give me double the money. Mind you, that's like, I had the money, but of course I'm not gonna give it to him. So I basically had to hold that L and basically just hold that $160 loss and yeah man it was crazy piece of advice do not play the game where you have to throw the ball in the bucket if you are at Coney Island or else you will lose your money I was debating going back to Coney Island and seeing anyone who was trying to play that game I'll just tell you don't play that game that guy's a scammer he's gonna scam you and I should have known that the scammers were out to play this summer but yes, so that was a fun little story I wanted to tell you guys. I'll be getting back into all the social justice stuff next week, um, but right now, like I'm still figuring out my schedule and stuff, but I'll probably end up doing videos on this day, Thursday. And you know, start off with a fun, 
you know, fun little story from my summer and give you guys an idea of how my summer went. <laughs> like this video, definitely give a like on this video. That would help so much. And comment down below how your summer went. Let me know if you have any crazy summer stories or crazy summer memories that happened this past summer. And definitely, um, you know, go and follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube. It's accepted as two underscores, so it's underscore and then RB dubs underscore. So go follow me on there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy, Rashawn Bond White, RB Dubs. I'm out of here. Adios.